Oh, they're going at it! They're going after him! Oh, that was so fast! Did you see that? What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. <laughs> Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. And we're back on vanilla. Doing stuff and things. I've completed a new wall. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today, guys. We're under the cover of darkness. It's so cool here. It just looks... I love the night on the center map. It looks so amazing. But like I was saying... Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. Thanks so much for continuing to show your support on all the ARC stuff and things. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, last episode we did the montage. We completed the wall, the defensive wall over there. Before we started this episode today, I went ahead and did this one. Now, it's a little curved, but aren't we all? And so, anyway, <laughs> uh, this is, uh, yeah, the wall, the way that it is. And uh, I think we're going to chip away at this slowly but surely, this wall thing. Because, you know, those thousand uh, those thousand walls that I made yesterday? The one... Why? It's so dark down here. Ooh, creepy hallway. Let me out of here, man. This is green poltergeist everywhere. So, you remember those thousand walls? A thousand walls? I got a Beelzy book in my throat. Remember those thousand walls we made yesterday, guys? Check it out. They's gone. They is just about gone. We got six no clip walls and 38 regular stone walls. Building these walls that I started to build that we needed to break down, plus the two walls that I've completed, the two pieces, the two, well, they're smaller pieces. Um, that's cost a thousand walls. So we're going to need well in advance of a thousand more in order to do this. So I think we're going to take a little bit of a break from wall building. Let me go ahead and game up a little bit for you guys so you can see what's going on. But over here, you can see we've got a new guy, Stupid Pickle. Look at this, man. We've got Pigeon Liquor, the Albatross, the Stupid Pigeon, the Liquor, the Pickle Liquor. Now we've got Stupid Liquor. So Stupid Liquor, a new guy here. What, does he need care? I can't see. Care in six minutes. So um, went ahead and bred another guy. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. This will be number six of our Dimorphodons for our Dim Dimorphodon army. And today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start to build... We got eggs galore over here. We're going to start to build a Dimorphodon leveling... Whoa. Whoa. It stopped raining and there was time travel. So today, we're going to start to build the Dimorphodon leveling pen. So it's going to be... This is all in theory. This is a theoretical thing that we're going to try out here and see. Um, I've been building over here for a little while, so we got to go ahead and gather up some eggs. So the idea will be to take like a Fiomia or something that I can use as an anchor so I can get the Dimorphodons to follow it inside of the pen so that they won't fly away. Then I'm going to set them on to aggressive inside the pen. Then what the plan will be is I will drop, I will go out on a, on a whatever, doesn't make a difference, on a Quetzal or on an RG, and I'll grab something like a, doesn't matter what it is, anything that I can grab. One of, can, I, can I have that egg, please? We'll go ahead and grab like a raptor or whatever. We'll drop them in the pen. The Dimorphodons will go ape on it. They'll ham all over its face with uh, their claws and their, their teeth and all that. And then they will kill it. And then they will gain experience points. I'm hoping that this will work. Um, honestly, I don't even know. Yeah, I mean, I guess they'll gain experience points, won't they, for killing it? They should, right? Like, it's one of those things where I've never done this stuff before. Like, tried to level... Um, a Dimorphodon dim uh, that way, but I'm guessing that that would work. So we're going to try it out. I think it's going to be super fun. At the very least, it'll be really fun to see stuff that things get killed by all our, our Dimorphodons inside the pen. So we're going to do it. That's what we're going to do today. So um, we do need to go ahead and get some more stuff and things built. Um, I can't get... We're going to need to get some stuff and things tamed too. I can't use the poop machine. I need the poop machine. Or I could go get some dung beetles. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to leave the poop machine here for now. So we can make poop for us so we can have poop. So we can, I mean, what else? What, there's no other explanation. So just so we can have poop for fertilizer, for fertilizer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll have to tame up another Fiomia. We'll need a Fiomia saddle, probably a bunch of foundations. We're going to need a flat spot in order to get this done. Yeah, let me see here. Let's pop that in there like a so. 
I do have some stone foundations built. Let me go ahead and go inside of here and take a look at this. Uh, Stom? No. Foundations. We got 14. So that's probably not going to be enough. So I'm going to go ahead and start to get stuff and things crafted up. And then I'll probably come back. We'll do some taming. I want to make sure I can try to get as many uh, imprints on this guy as I can. So I'm going to kind of do some stuff off camera while that's working out. When I get some more of the stuff and things ready to rock. Oh, BRBs, peeps. And we're back. All right, guys. So I thought a little bit about how we were going to build this and where we were going to build it. I was thinking about building it out away from the area but I, I think right here is gonna be fine i think we're just gonna do it right here unfortunately we have the amazing center grass which i heard was gonna get fixed but doesn't seem to be getting fixed or maybe it's gonna take a long long time to get fixed uh so uh sticking up through the area here but i, I needed a really flat spot i need a flat spot where i could set all these foundations out so i built a five by five here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab some stuff and things right out of here like a so let's just go ahead and put a ramp let's put like three ramps right here just to make it look amazing. And then we'll squirt that back. Oh, look, look. and then we'll go like this. And then we'll go ahead and put a doorway in. And then we can start to get our walls going here. So um, that'll be just our one doorway that allows uh, us to get in and out and us to get the dimorphodons in and out. And then it's this pretty simple theory here. It's a pretty simple, you know, all we're going to do, wait, crap, no, wrong, incorrect, is we're going to go ahead and place as many walls incorrectly. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and build this pretty high. Pretty high. Um, I'm not sure exactly how high we want to go. I want to build a pretty big high area here. Um, and actually, probably we'll put a roof on it too with a small hole. Or I don't know, a little bit of a lip. Because I don't want these guys to get out of here. You know, that's like the biggest thing I think is, is the most important. I want whatever is in here on aggressive to stay in here. Oh, wrong. Um, and just not be able to fly away. That's my biggest, the biggest concern I have. I don't want any of our little buddies to be able to get out and uh, fly off, especially if they're on aggressive. Um, I think if we do this right, I was thinking about building a Fiomia or having a Fiomia in the center that they would have on follow. I don't think we really need it. I don't think we need to have that. I think we just need to have the walls be high enough so that... Um, they won't get out. I think that's going to be the only thing. And I think for aesthetic reasons, I might put some windows and stuff and things like that in here too. After we go ahead and get it all built. Is that all? Oh my God, guys. Are we like seriously out of walls again already? I think this is all the walls we have. Let's take a look inside of here. Uh, all right. We have 38 more stone walls. So, um, but yeah, this is my plan. Then we're going to put all the guys in and stick them on aggressive. Um, they shouldn't go or try to move around at all unless there's something that's in their like immediate vicinity and I can set their aggressive um, distance to like really low so it won't affect, you know what I mean? They won't try to like, like if they're in here, like say against this wall, as long as they're, the distance of their aggression is really slow, low, they won't try to attack something like that's outside of that wall. Um, and so they won't like do a thing where sometimes if you put stuff on aggressive, it'll do a thing where it'll sit on a wall and just try to attack outside the wall forever and ever. And that could be bad. Then we drop a, a raptor or something in here and then it goes after that guy and maybe, I don't know, it dies or something like that. We don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to get this thing done, continue to build. Like I said, I want to make it look good too. I'm going to need to build some more walls. I'm thinking one, two, three, four. I'm thinking we're going to go five high. So we're going to go five high with this guy. Uh, put some windows in, make it aesthetically a little bit more pleasing. Um, and then we'll, we'll move the guys in. We'll do some testing and we're back. She don't look like much, but she's got it where it counts. Star Wars reference. Check. I don't think I've ever made a Star Wars reference. So we're going to go ahead and throw. Oh, wait, where's our guy? There he is. Stupid pickle. Our newest and littlest fully grown dimorphodon down here. Now I only got a 77% imprinted. So um, it didn't go all the way, but we did get some bonus stats, but it is pretty low. It's only 865 health and only 425% melee damage. So hopefully it doesn't die when we try to do this. Now I have all these guys already set up. You take a look here. They're all set to aggressive and they're all set on targeting range low. Now, actually, I tried to find this out. I actually believe it or not, everybody. All right, everybody. Are you guys sitting down? I went to the wiki to actually find out what the targeting distance was. <gasps> But I couldn't. There's no article about it. Unbelievably, there is no information that I could find about the targeting distance for a dino. Now, I don't know if it follows the same targeting distance as it does for turrets. Look at this guy. He already got a level. 
So I don't know if it's the same as it is for turrets. And you can find that information. I didn't look it up for turrets, but you can find it out, of course, for turrets and that sort of stuff. We get another level right here like so. All right. So what we got to do now is close this bad boy up. You see, I left a big hole in the ceiling. They're all on aggressive. They're all on targeting distance low. I'm assuming now what we're going to do is go ahead and get on the big. And we're just going to fly out. We're just going to find the first thing we can find. Maybe we could find a Lister. Oh, we got a level on the big. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 62,000 health. I got to tell you, man, I don't know if you guys have noticed or been keeping track. Some of my flyers, I have some uh, RGs with over 20,000 health. I think that that's going to be a big deal when we're doing uh, base raids and fights and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty unbelievable. We'll see how it all works out. All right. Oh, you know what, too? I just forgot about something as well. I told you guys that I had to get that I got this wall done, but I lied. The outside of this wall, I didn't put the foundations down and I didn't put the uh, spiked wall. So I've got to do that. I forgot about that. So let's take a look here and see what we can find. Any Lystras around? Lystrasaurs would be amazing. All right, let's head down inside of here. Let's find something fairly small to go ahead and test. All right, here's a Dillo right here. Zerp. All right, we got you. All right, we got a little Dillo. So we're going to bring him up and go ahead and drop him in. And I'm hoping... Oh, is he hitting us? No, it's just the red from my wings reflecting in the light. So um, we're gonna. I'm I'm hoping that this will work as according according to plan here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see. We're coming up over. Oh, they're flying up. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Was that it? Oh, this is really really bad. This is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Uh, whistle passive. And now that was bad. Okay, so they're even on the targeting distance low. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Okay, we've got to get them all to follow us so we can get them all back into the pen. So even on targeting distance low, it is still too high. Like, I, I assume that low would be maybe just like a couple of blocks, but it doesn't seem to be that, that that's the case. It seems to be that even on low, it's still like really, really high. It's high. It's farther than five blocks. I bet you that it is... Oh, where'd the rest of the guys go? Oh, man. I got to make sure I get them all. So, I bet you that it is similar to the distance that you get for a turret. So, we got three. They're following the big... All right. Let's get this guy. Four. Oh, man. He's up inside of the... Like I saw. All right. All right, so initial test, that was good. It's good information to have. It means that we've got to build our tower even bigger in order to make this work. Um, and so we'll have to go ahead. Did we get everybody? The albatross is still up top there. I need like a place without the most world's most terrible grass to get these guys all around here. So let's bring them over here. Uh, and we'll just put them down. I'm flabbergasted. I'm a little bit flabbergasted that the follow distance was that low uh, or that high. Pardon me. The aggressive distance was that high. So let me go ahead. We'll do that guy. We'll grab him too. Is he on wander? What the crap are you doing, homie? No. All right. So we'll go ahead and reset. We'll build the tower even bigger. I'm going to make it twice as big. We're going to go 10 high. Uh, and then we'll go ahead. I got to go get up there and get the albatross. It's night. Everything's a terrible disaster right now. So I'll reset and uh, build and I'll BRBs, peeps. And we're back with the new and improved Dimorphodon leveling chamber. I think that's what I'm going to title the video. Dimorphodon leveling chamber. All right. So we got all our guys back in here. We've got albatross. We've got liquor. We've got pigeon liquor. We've got pickle liquor. We've got stupid pickle. We've got... Wait. Where's Stupid Pigeon? Oh, no. Stupid Pigeon's gone. Where could it be? Where is Stupid Pigeon? Where is he? Oh, there he is. All right. We got him right on our shoulder. Okay. Whew. Oh, my gosh, guys. I was so worried there for a second. We lost Stupid Pigeon. Stupid Pigeon, get out of here. All right. Stupid Pigeon's here, guys. Everybody calm down. Turn down. Everything's fine. Turn down. Every yeah. Don't worry. Uh, call the police people. Dimorphodon alert station control and let them know everybody's here. All right. So, because we had the issue last time, I'm thinking we are going to need a Fiomia, guys. I think we need to get a Fiomia down here to get everybody to follow. Um, now, it'll reset each time the server resets, but it won't be that big of a deal to get everybody to follow him. 
Um, and then that way, if we do have a blunder, if there are guys that fly up or something like that, it's just an added level of security. You know what I mean? So that we don't have to fall, like, go around, try to find all our Dimorphodons. Again, it doesn't make any sense. There's a Dimorphodon. I don't know if you deserve to be part of the army. Oh, yeah? That's how you feel? No, then you can't be. All right. So he had some... Whew, that was uh, some strong language. I don't know if you speak Dimorphodon. I'm not a Dimorphodonologist, but I do speak Dimorphodon on the weekends. And uh, that was rude. What he had said was pretty rude. So anyway, moving on. Um, I was hoping while I was talking to the Dimorphodon, we would find a Fiomia around here somewhere and we can knock it out. We could grab it and we could knock it out. But it doesn't look like that's the case. Normally, there's some hanging in and about the area. It looks like we're going to have to actually search for it. I mean, we could do anything. We could do a, we could do a Parasaur. We could do anything that we could ride with the saddle. But um, I'm thinking uh, Fiomi is going to be the best pet. We can uh, pump its HPs a little bit, maybe level it up a little bit. I don't think we're going to be dropping anything super crazy in the pen. Like, I don't think that we're going to drop, like, T-Rexes in there. So I don't think that anything would kill it. Um, so that's what we'll do. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, you know what would be better as, like, a tanky thing? Probably a turtle, right? Maybe we should just get a turtle. Level 15? That is a crappy turtle. You are a disgrace to all turtles. That is a 85 turtle. That's not bad. Yeah, maybe we'll do a turtle. Let's take a look around here and see if we can find one. You know, we don't want a too high of a level turtle. Maybe this 85 would be a good choice. Just because we don't want it to be too high because it'll take like forever and a day to tame. But um, we don't want it to be too low either. So let's get this turtle back over to the base. We'll squirt him into the, the uh, taming pen, the little taming pen we have here. And we'll go ahead and start to knock him out. All right, here we go. Our attempt to drop the turtle into the pen. Ooh, like a glove. Ace Ventura reference check. All right, so I've got 65 trank darts on me. I think I actually have some more uh, inside of my, um, my smithy there. Let's go ahead and just make sure all of our guys around here are on passive. And let's start the tranquilizing process. Uh, enjoy your tranquilizers. Brought to you by my smithy. All right, there we go. You feel, oh, you, you got an attitude adjustment problem? Well, we can take care of that right here. You can't do anything to that stone wall. Why are you even trying to bother with it? it? Looks like he's dancing. I'll dance with you, buddy. Oh, you trying to run away? What's the matter? No, you can't get out that way. Mm, no, you can't get out that way. Mm, no, you can't get out that way. And we're back with our turtle, level 125. Let's go ahead and demolish this bad boy. I don't think you can fit out of a one wide space. We're going to try it. I went ahead and grabbed some, uh, our saddle. I got that on him. And um, let's go ahead and pump some HPs here real quick. Oh, we got to name it. I got the perfect name too. Bait. <laughs> go away, baiting. Uh, what's that movie called? Idiocracy reference. Check. All right. Uh, this isn't going to work. This is going to take forever to get over there. All right, so we'll we'll do it this way. This will be a lot easier. So, and plus, we're going to go ahead and drop him in anyway. So, we're going to take bait, and we're going to go ahead and uh, drop him in the top here, and then we'll get all the guys on follow, hopefully. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't get this guy in. Should be pretty easy. Dropping him in. Dropping it like it's hot. All right. And so, we've built the bigger tower. It should be good to go. I left it completely open on top. That way, I can kind of just do a flyover really, really high. Let's go ahead and back this guy up. Hold on, let's get him nice and centered. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> all right, so right here. Now we've got all these guys on to. Wait, are they on their little aggressive stuff and things? Let me see here, real quick. Oh, you got another level? You're amazing. Two more levels. All right, so aggression to aggressive, targeting range low. And then we're going to change the follow distance. Well, we can't do that. Wait, can we do it right here? Change follow distance from medium, from high, highest, low. So I've got to go around and switch them all over to that. So aggressive to aggressive, targeting range low, medium, high, highest, low. I can do it by hitting... I don't think I can do it by hitting zero right now, can I? Let's take a look at this real quick. So it's on medium. If I hit zero on him... Oh, it is. There we go. We can just hit zero on our number pad. That'll work perfectly. All right, aggressive. Everything's good. We got to access his inventory. Pump his HP zores. All right, let's get this guy. One, two, three, I think should do it. That's low. Aggressive. Got to XPs. Pumps in it. <laughs> Words. 
All right, this guy. Uh, aggressive. Like so. There we go. And then stupid pickle last. Oh, I picked him up. Oh, sweet eggs. Thank you so much for being productive. There we go. All right, so we got to level him up. Oh, good. We got a little bit of HPs there. Oh, you know what else we forgot? Is we got to get a trough up here, too. Fall distance is on high. Highest. There's low. Aggression to aggressive. All right, now, if we get on top of this guy, who's already got another level... I'm going to take this stuff back here. We need to... Okay, we got that guy on follow. That guy's on follow. Follow. Oh, I'm having trouble now. I think because they're all flying around me. Oh, what a pain in the butt. You know what I could probably do? This would probably work. If we go like this. There we go. All right, we did it. And then we got to do it over here. Is this even going to work? Oh. I can't see a thing. This is a terrible disaster. Did we get it? No. We've got to, like, move around maybe a little bit. All right, there we go. We can go like this. All right, we got him. All right, we got him. We got them all. All right, sweet. So now they're all on follow. I think we're just going to have to leave bait, like, in the area somewhere. Like, just right around over here. All right. So now on bait, we want to make sure that this guy is on neutral. Or no, we want it aggressive to pass it. We just want him to tank damage. That's all he's going to do. All right. So they're all ready to go. This should work. Gosh, it still doesn't feel high enough to me. Because they're all flying around there. All right. But if they do go out of the way or they do come around or something like that, you know, we should be able to... They should all go back and follow bait, which is like perfect, exactly what we want to have happen. So let's head down here and let's find something kind of... Kind of, kind of, something, something. We can go ahead and stick in there. There's a Dillo. I want to do bigger than a Dillo so we can kind of see what's going on. How much, how level is this striker right here? 40. All right. So, I mean, six guys at level 200 should be able to take this strike out, right? Well, I guess we're going to find out here in a second, peeps. All right. So, I'm excited to see this work. I can't believe it. Like, it's the little things in life, guys. It's just the little things in life. You know, you got to take joy from the <laughs> little things. So, we're going to fly over. Ooh. All right. All right, let's fly down. Let's see this happen. Oh, they're going at it. They're going after him. Oh, that was so fast. Did you see that? The big, did you see that? All right, hold on. Let me go ahead and do this. Lay this guy real quick. That was so fast, man. They just annihilated that thing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see if anybody got levels. It's going to be really hard to tell. Maybe if we go like this. We're up here. Okay, not a level. Do you get a level? I don't know. It's only a level 40. I guess we got to do something bigger, man. I can't tell if anybody got levels or not. So, oh, we got more eggs. So I did do some reading to find out if, in fact, just to make sure that this would level them up. And it says, the wiki that I was reading says that they will. It says that, you know, the dinos, even though there's no rider, obviously they still gain XP if they get the killing blow. The hardest thing about this is going to be trying to what level are you guys down there oh, i can't see the hardest thing with this is going to be trying to level them up you're gonna to have to pump a bunch of guys inside of there before we're able to level it up all right level 80 level 90 all right this is it level 90 so maybe we'll drop a bronto in there all right level 90 i'll tell you what man they annihilated that guy so fast let me go ahead and bring this guy up and we'll see if we can see it happening this time with this level 90 probably will take a little bit more to kill it so if we come over, oh, oh, drop. All right, let's head down. All right, they're going at it. They're in. Oh my God, the blender is real. Oh, they blenderized that trike. You guys, this is so great. There's only six of them in there too. They're blenderized that level 90 trike like it was nothing. Oh, I wonder if I could put something more aggressive in there. You know, I saw a Carno down here. Oh, guys, I'm excited. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop some more stuff in. I'm going to try to find something a little bit higher level um, and maybe possibly something a little bit more aggressive. And uh, we'll see how they fare against that. And I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back. I've been dropping all sorts of stuff and things inside of this.
blender and watching them blender it up. I'm going to go ahead and do another one right now for you guys. It's a level 80 Carno. I really want to try to line this up nice. So you have to be a little bit careful. Huh. All right, is it going in? Oh, he's going in. Get blenderized, Carno. Oh, they're going after him, man. Oh, this could be a fight. No, it's over, man. It's over so quick. So far, I've dropped, I think the highest level thing I dropped in there was a 110 turtle. Uh, and then just now I did the 80 level 80 Carno because I want to just take this kind of slow. I want to take it slow and make sure that everything is going good. Um, I went ahead and uh, leveled up a bunch of the guys already. I wonder if somebody who killed that Carno got a level. Let me see here. It's really hard to level them up to see if they got levels. No, maybe not. Oh, yeah, he did right there. He got a level off that Carno because I just leveled him. So we'll go ahead and pump that right there. So there you can see, guys, like this is working. This is actually a thing that is working. So we could put more Dimorphodons in here. We could drop even higher and more uh, higher level uh, dinos and uh, get bigger experience for these guys and get them leveled up and really make them a force to be reckoned with. I want to get all 10 of them. And then, I don't know, I want to get 10. I want to get them leveled up. And then I want to drop like a T-Rex in here or something like that and see how it works out. I think it'll be awesome. But that's going to be it for today, peeps. The Dimorphodon Blender Room is complete. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. I hope that you had fun. If you did, make sure and smash the thumbs up button and show your support. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.